Good morning guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. We went ahead and finished up our little um, top fold album here, or this is just a little album insert. So I went ahead and finished that up. And I cut mine down just a little bit. I know I gave you the measurements yesterday, but I cut mine down a little bit this way on the length because my paper wasn't long enough. So I've got this at four inches by seven and a half when it's folded. So I just cut a little bit off the bottom and I rounded the corners and then I just put some lace trim at the top. My lights are awful bright this morning. Let's see if I can turn them just a little bit. There we go. And I just put a little tag there with some bling and a book page and then another little piece of lace I sewed in down here at the bottom and put a little flower. Now I sewed around mine and I sewed my signature in. You don't have to do that. You can just glue everything in and then you can glue your signature or stitch it. Whatever you want to do there. You can stitch it with a needle. And then this is a um, Edith Holden flower that I just kind of halfway fussy cut. I didn't try to do a lot to it. That is a Shabby Dabby Doo Dah um, number label. And then this label was already on with the flower. And then I just used some of my coffee dyed paper and then some of my spritzed paper, some old music paper that uh, Alicia gave me. And some of my old journal paper that I spritzed, some old notebook paper. Just things like that. Just whatever I had in my stash that I had already dyed, I used that. And then I just did a straight stitch right across the center. On the back, I didn't really do anything except put a little piece of dyed ledger paper down there. Because I didn't want that to be lumpy and bumpy when you're trying to write on it. So that is this little insert. So we'll lay that aside and then we'll get started on our folio here. Now, somebody made a comment on yesterday's video that said they didn't have hanging file folders and they wanted to just use regular file folders. And sure, you could do that, no problem. You can use regular file folders, you could use uh, some type of paper, as long as you get it the length that you want. Um, I was trying to think of other things that you might use that you have around. Boxes, if you have some of those thin boxes that a lot of times you'll get different things in. Um, they're kind of a thin box. They're not that real thick corrugated box. They're a thin box. Then you could use some of those and just cut them down. And I'm going to tell you the exact size of mine. And then that way if you have something you want to cut, da cut down and use, you can. You don't have to have the hanging file folders. I just happen to have a ton of them that I need to use up. So I thought this would be a good way to use them but um and then also if you want to go get some i know walmart has them you know 25 to a box for two or three dollars around here they do anyway i don't know if they do everywhere else they're not the expensive ones they're these that are kind of thin but they work just as well all right you're going to need two file folders for this uh let's see what i did first is I trimmed off that middle part, you know, the part that hangs. I trimmed all of that off. So that made it eight inches, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, eight inches, and I just left the height. Mine is 11 and three quarters. So whatever height yours is, you can just leave that. Then I came in, and you know, it's got a ton of little score lines right in here, but I wanted a specific score. So I came in. And I scored at, the first one is scored at seven and a quarter, and then I scored it at eight. Or I just reinforced those score lines. They were already there, so I just reinforced them. And then I drew a line so that I know which score line I'm going by, because if I don't, this has got so many in it, because the score lines go from here to here, <laughs> that I might mess up. So I just drew my line on there. Then on this one, I came in at seven and three quarters, and eight and a half and did my score lines. And you'll see why I scored this one a little bit different in a minute. Now, I will have all these measurements over on my blog so you can go over there and um, take the measurements down or I'll try to put them on the screen if I remember. Sometimes I don't remember as well 
to get get them on the screen when I'm editing because I I've got kind of this process of editing is like this and I <laughs> so sometimes I get a little bit too fast and I forget to put the measurements on the screen but if I can remember I will and if not just check the link below the video for the blog all right seven and three quarters and eight and a half all right now on this one on the this uh, we're going to call this one the right one let me write that we're going to call this one right and this one left well now you can't probably can't see that but i can see it on mine right and left on the right one what you're going to do is from this edge right here you're going to come in i'm going to put my glasses on today so i won't hopefully i won't mess up too bad you're going to come in one and a half and you're going to draw a line one and a half all the way down and i just drew a little thin line so that i would know where that is and then from this score line in you're going to do the same thing one and a half and draw a line then what i did is i turned it to the side and i put my ruler on here and at every two and a half inches i drew I made a mark and then I drew another little line at every two and a half inches all the way down. You'll see why we're doing this in just a minute. So what we're going to do now is I want to go ahead and I think I want to round my corners. So I'm going to round these two and then these two. I'm not going to need to round the other ones because that's how we're going to put our folder together. So just round to that. I just think they look good with rounded corners. You don't have to do this. You make yours exactly like you want to. Okay. Then, it is so funny. I'm, I've got my phone sitting right here. And I'm looking up and my little grandbaby, she's texting me right and left because tomorrow we're supposed to have her birthday party here. And she's asking me, is it going to be bad weather, Nene? What is the weather going to be? Is it going to be cold? Is it going to be warm? Is it going to be storm? Is it going to rain? <laughs> she's just sending me one text after the other. So if I, <laughs> if I pause the video out, that's what I'm doing is answering her. She's such a sweetie. But she loves birthday parties. Okay, now what we're going to do, before we glue these together, I want to get my hole punch and I'm not going to be able to use my little crocodile I'm going to have to use a, my big crop crocodile and I want to punch little holes at either end of these because we're going to open up those up we're going to cut a little slit in these and it's going to be little um almost like little credit card pockets I don't know exactly what they're called but it's going to be little pockets down in there that we're going to be able to insert things in since we're going to glue it together like this see it's going to have this backing in there so that way we we don't waste any of this we're not going to waste this or this because we're going to have pockets in there so let me grab my big crocodile and if you don't have a crocodile you can just you don't even have to punch holes if you don't want to you can just cut little slits in there i'm going to cut right at the line and then I'm going to come back and just do another little slit right below the line just to cut out a little bit of a opening there so that I have something to slide just some cards and things down in nothing big and for anyone who didn't see our little notebook yesterday this is it now I just put this little charm on it someone made me this charm at one of the classes that I taught I just thought it was so cute of course they put lots of butterflies and seahorses and things on there because I, they know I love the beach and I love butterflies and I just kind of hung that on one of those little Tim Holtz clips I probably won't leave that on there because I'm going to tuck this in a pocket but I just thought it was cute so there is that one this is my blueberry dyed paper and then there's the back and we've still got to make a little tag to slide in there but I just clipped this on to take photos because I thought it was really cute and it kept it closed so let's lay that one over there now this is the big bite and hopefully it's going to go as far as I want it in and I want to do the little punch the little hole punch let's see which one is the small one that one and all I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get 
right at the end of that line. Like that. That's what I'm doing. So see, I've got my little holes right at the end of that line. Kind of like you, you see in a little credit card um, billfold. And like I said, if you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. Just use what you have. Don't even cut the little holes. You don't have to have them in there. Or you may have one of those little popping things. I don't know what those things were called. I used to have them. You put it on there and you pulled it up and it popped and it cut the hole. You may have one of those. There we go. All right, sit that down on the floor. So there is our little holes. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my I'm going to take my knife here and my ruler. And I am going to slice right where I put that line. And then I'm just going to barely move my ruler and make another little slice. I'm not moving it very much at all. Just a fraction of an inch. Maybe a sixteenth if that much. And I just see it cuts out just a little slit there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do to all of these all the way down. Okay, so there are our openings. So you can see. And mine are not perfect, so don't worry about getting them perfect. Just put just put some little slits in there. All right, I'm going to try to keep this in frame so that you can see it, you know, all of it, but it's kind of big, so if I slide out of frame every little bit, I'm going to try to watch myself and not do that, but just forgive me if I do. Now we're going to put some paper down on this and hmm, let's see, what paper do I want on there? I'm thinking that I want this paper on here. And again, this is the Prima Misty Rose. I cut the little label out so I remember. It's the Prima Misty Rose. I don't have any more of this, but if I can find it, I'll link it below. It was last year's collection. Now, I'm going to glue the paper straight down. And you say, well, you just got through cutting those openings. I did, but I'm going to glue it straight down, and then I'm going to flip it over, and I'll cut my openings from the back. Because, see, once I get this glued down, I can flip it this way and just cut my openings again. That way I'll have the paper all on there and I don't have to worry about trying to cut my slits and match them up and that kind of thing. So the very first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to trim this off and I'm going to stop right at where my spine is going to be right where I made that fold. I'm going to stop right there. No, I take that back. Alright, I'm going to let just a little bit of my uh, background, my green file folder, show. Just a tiny bit. So, I'm going to trim this down about right there and then we're just going to have just a little fraction of that showing around. Then I'm going to trim it right there. So we're going to trim this off. Okay, that looks good right there. So that's what we're going to put down. Now, again, I'm going to ink around mine. You don't have to. It's just something that I prefer. And I will try to cut all of the inking out because I know that a lot of people don't care about seeing that. So I'll just try to cut all of that out. All right, we are going to glue that down right there. 
and I'm going to use my PVA glue for this just because I've got a lot of it and uh, I think it's going to work out better on here. Now what I'm going to do is right here at the top of this opening and at the bottom of the opening I'm just putting a little bead of glue. I'm using my fine tip so I can get just a little thin bead. This is going to glue the paper down there so that I can cut it easily from the other side. There we go. So we've got our glue on there. Make sure that we put this the right way up. Oh no, I'm missing my towel. Where's my towel? There it is. Now I'm going to take my little card here. And I'm, all I'm doing is I am pressing that glue so that it'll spread out all over the place. There we go. That's nice and glued down. Now what we want to do is come over to this side and we have a pretty good bit of glue down in there so I may wait until that glue dries before I try to do any cutting. Okay, we're going to wait until the glue dries before we try to do this cutting. If we don't, it's just going to make a mess. So while that glue is drying, I want to reinforce my spine. So I'm going to put a piece of our thin chipboard down through here. That's going to reinforce it and keep it from, you know, everything just bending in all of those different score lines. All right, this is just some chipboard that came in a paper pack. It was the back piece of the paper pack. And I'll tell you what size I cut this. This is cut at three quarters of an inch and then it's cut at 11 and three quarters, I'm pretty sure. Yes. So three quarters of an inch and that's going to be our spine right there. And I've just got it to where it would glue in between those two score lines. Now before I put this down, I'm just going to go ahead and cover it with some paper because I don't want to put a piece of paper from one side of the spine to the other. Because a lot of times when you fold and do that, it get, you get those crinkles in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover it with some paper. Okay, I'm just going to lay these on here and glue them down. And I'm leaving enough space between them that I have that fold over. So that is what we're going to do with this. And I will be switching back and forth between art glitter glue and PVA glue. So I'll link both of them below. We've got plenty of art glitter glue right now. It has been selling out as fast as we get it. But I just got in a large shipment, so we've got plenty right now if you want any. The PVA glue, I just get mine off of Amazon. It's just as cheap there as I can get it uh, from a wholesaler. So. I'll link that below as well. I got that huge bottle for a little bit of nothing, and it's really good to make booklets and things out of. It has a flexibility that a lot of glues don't have. That's why it's called a book glue. Okay going to leave those right there for a second and let them dry and then we'll trim them off and then cover over. Okay I'm just going to run my bum folder down each side so that it'll fold up easy. Then I just want to cut those ends a little bit just so they'll because that's going to be glued down just like that. <laughs> Excuse me. So you don't have to have that back fully covered. So don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and do this one while we are at it. Okay, now we can put these spine pieces down. Make sure that I get them the right way up.
and I cut mine to where they would go from end to end. So, there we go. And we can put our back piece of paper on. And again, I'm just going to leave just a tiny bit around. Okay, there we go. Now on this one, we need to round two of the corners. So I'm just going to round that and that one. Just like that. And then I'll ink, and all of my inking I'm going to try to cut out because I know a lot of people don't like to watch it, so I'll try to cut all the inking that I do out. So there we go. We're going to glue that down just like that. So there we are. We have both of those pages done. Now we're going to flip it over, and I'm going to head go. <laughs> Now we're going to flip it over and I'm going to go ahead and cut my little openings here. I'm going to go ahead and punch my holes again. Just so that they'll show on the front side. Looks like I didn't wait long enough to let the glue dry, but it's okay. I've got a couple of places that I butchered the paper up a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that. A little place right here, and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue to glue that back down. Not a biggie. So there we go. So there are our little openings for our pockets. Now we're going to grab our other one. And then this is going to go right on top of that one, just like that. I'm going to leave it just a little ways away from where it's going to fold, because I don't want to hinder the fold on that. So let's make sure that we got room here. Okay. So what you want to do when you grab your other file folder is you want to put them together with and make sure that this file folder, the right one, is not going over or past that score line right there. If it does, you're going to have to trim it off. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball mine and lay it on here and then glue it down like that. that looks pretty good. So let's just go ahead and put our glue down on here. Again, I'm going to use PVA glue because it spreads out well and it gives me a little bit extra time to move things around if I need to. And I know it's going to be flexible. That's the main thing that you need to think about. And I use it for my glue most of the time. There we go. Then we're going to lay this down on top of that. I just don't want it to go past my score line and I want to keep everything up here even. As even as I can anyway. See what we got there before I press it down. We have half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, a little bit less than a half an inch here. So I'm going to move it back out just a little bit. So this is a big mistake. You know what I just did? I just put glue all down through here. So I have glued my pockets closed. I have no idea what I was thinking about. I've glued every one of them closed. So, don't put glue down through here. You just need to put glue on the sides. I was not thinking. So, what we will do here is we'll just make more pockets. We'll just make some pockets and put on here. Well, that was a good idea, but it didn't work. Or, it would have worked if I had not glued everything down. But, I have glued every one of my pockets closed. So, when you're gluing this piece down, just put your glue around the top. And then down through here. You may have to lay this piece on and mark your pockets. Just put your glue there. Don't put your glue down through the middle like I did. I was too concerned about getting that glued down, I think. 
But anyway, we're not going to stress over it. I'll put some pockets of something else there. It's not not like the end of the world. I can always make another. I've got a thousand file folders over there. But we'll just add some pockets to the center here. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this spine piece down. And we're going to glue that right there. I thought about it about the time I pressed it down. So see, I left that in. I could have taken it out, but I left it in because I know I'm not the only one that does that sometimes. That's just, we're all human. We make a mistake every now and then. But there's always a way to remedy it, fix it. Sometimes you even come out with something a little bit better than what you was thinking of. Now you have just a little bitty piece right here that's a little bit more open than this one over here. If you want to put an extra piece of paper down through there, you can. I might later on. I'm going to go ahead and cover everything else and just see what I want to do. And I wish I had another piece of this paper, but I don't. So I don't know what I'm going to put on this side. Okay, I think I'm just going to finish it off with this. It's just from that same paper collection. And that will finish the inside and it'll all be kind of a script. Okay, we have that piece down, so let's go ahead and fold it and see what we've got. So far so good, I like that. And it's going to strengthen up even more when we put our paper on the outside. Right now it's still, mine is still just a little bit flimsy and the reason being, like I said, these file folders have been around for a long, long time, and they're just a tiny bit flimsy, but it's going to strengthen up more. So what do we want to have on the front cover now? This, let's see, this is going to be our front cover right here. What do we want on there? I think that page is pretty. Mmm, I like that. Let's see if I like anything else better. I'm thinking that may be my front cover right there. I like that. It's already kind of collaged for me. I don't have to do a lot to it. So let's just go ahead and mark it. And we will add that piece on. Now, the reason I'm not giving you measurements for the mats is because your file folders or your hanging file folders, whatever you're going to be using, may be a little bit different size than mine. So just mark it like I'm marking it. I mark it with a pencil and then I go and cut. You don't have to measure, do a lot of measuring. Um, so just mark yours like you need it cut. I don't. I don't want to give you measurements and then it be the wrong ones. Well, where did I mark that? Does anybody say my little mark? Yeah, right there it is. Put my glasses on and I can see it. So, cut that off. Yeah, I guess it'll be fine. I started to say I like that side better, but I like that side too, so it doesn't matter. I can put that, put another one somewhere else. So that's going to go there. Then we need one for here and then the back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of my mats and put those on, and then we'll come back and we'll start adding everything else onto here. Now we have all of our mats on, and what that is I've got on that one already. There we go. Um, got the mat on the front. I'm going to call that, let's see, I might call this the front because I want it to fold over that way. And then this will be the inside flap and then that will be 
the inside inside. I had a really l good laugh a little bit, a bit ago when I was putting these covers on. I got to thinking how many of you were yelling at me when I was putting the glue on here. No, 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 you're covering. You're covering up your pockets. You're closing up your pockets. I just, I know a lot of you had to be saying that and that I wish I could have heard you. But anyway, like I said, I don't stress over things like that. I just create something different. So we are going to now put some pockets and things on the inside. Now I'm going to come back and cover the edges here with lace, the spine part. And let's see. So now I'm going to put some pockets on the inside. Now I know that I know I can't talk today. I know that I need a pocket large enough to hold our little album here. And then in here I want to put pockets because since I closed those pockets up, I need more pockets. So let me have a think a minute as to what I want to do, and then we will come back and we'll start adding some different pockets. All right, we have cut our pockets out, and I'm going to tell you the size of my pockets, but like I said, depending on what you're using, you adjust your pockets like you want. Now, I wanted my pockets to have a fold over at the top so that would make that stronger for me putting things in and out. And then, of course, you need a half inch on each side to fold up and a half inch at the bottom. So, I cut this one. It's cut at six by six and a half, and I'm going to do the six and a half across. So all I'm going to do is fold this over. Let me make sure that I'm doing the, oh, this doesn't have a direction, so. So I'm folding that over, and that's going to be my top flap. That just keeps things from, you know, tearing up the edge of your paper. And then we're going to put glue these down and then put our pocket down and I'm going to use some I think I'm going to use some score tape and some art glitter glue just so I have a little bit of wiggle room but my score tape will hold it down real well I don't have to sit and rub on it forever you can use wet glue of course It's just my preference when I'm making pockets is my score tape. Now I just pull that tape off and I press that those corner ones down. Pull the backing off of that tape I should say. And then I press that over and that creates my pocket and doesn't leave any open glue for anything to catch on. Now I need to mark where the top of this is going to go. If I don't, I'll probably end up getting it crooked. So we're going to, I think I'll start it, I think it'll come down right there to two. Make sure that I've got Hopefully I'll be able to see those marks. Now I'm going to put a little bit of art glitter glue on top of this just so I have a little wiggle room. Because this stuff grabs real quick. I may get my head in the shot and if I do I apologize. Let's see. There's my mark. There's my mark right there. And then I'm just trying to center it up from one side to the other. That's all I'm trying to do. Okay, that looks pretty straight to me. Got to lay some of this stuff over. Bone folder, where are you bone folder? Now, I started with my top pocket because I want the top one down first and then we're going to come back with our second one which I think is this one this one is five by six and a half six and a half by five and then we're just going to clip these little corners
and I always just cut mine at a little curve. I don't, I don't go straight. All right, what side are we gonna put down? Well, I actually did this a little bit sideways, but I'm not gonna worry about it because not much of my pocket is gonna show. Cut this paper sideways. So I think, let me see which one. I think we'll just use this side and then I'll just um, decorate it a little bit so that nothing shows. I was just trying to use up some scraps so I wasn't worried about which side I had up and which side I had down. Okay, and then we're going to come down from the top of that pocket. We're coming down about an inch and three quarters. We're going to put this pocket on. So there's two pockets, and then I think I dumped. The other one's off on the floor. Okay, now this one is cut at four by six and a half. Yep. We're going to score it on all sides. at a half an inch all the way around. Then I'm going to go ahead while I got my scoreboard up and I'm going to score this one. And this one is three by six and a half. All right, we have our score tape on this one. And I'm going to put a little bit of art glitter glue down on it. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want it to them down to that looks good right there so we have one two three pockets so far and then I have this one and I'm thinking thinking I'm gonna need another pocket so let's cut one more. I want to put this one on the bottom. So let's cut one more pocket. Uh, and it doesn't matter. I'll cut it at six and a half by four. Let's see. Just going to find a scrap that's big enough. Okay, we've got this one. Let's go ahead and score it. I just cut it at six and a half by four, just like the one before. We can drop it on down and it'll look like a different size so you could have cut all of them the same size and just you know staggered them down and cascaded them down and it would look like all of them are different sizes so let's see if there's an up or a downside on this before i put it down I think this might be the up over here. Let's go ahead and cut our corners. And this is actually from a different paper collection, but um, it, it works well with this one, so we're going to use it. And I ran out of my quarter inch score tape, so I just grabbed what I had on my desk. This is just a half inch. So either one it will work. Or this may be three-eighths. I'm not sure. And then again, we're just going to eyeball it and kind of come down about the same distance as we did with that one before. And get it straightened up here on my desk so it'll look kind of straight. That looks about right. I'm looking in the camera to see if that looks about right to you guys. Looks about right. So there's our fourth pocket, and I love pockets like this because they've got lots of room in them. And then we're going to put our last little baby pocket down here, and that's going to cover this last opening up. 
and this would be good for little tags or note little note cards anything like that that you might have in that you need to put in your folio I apologize if my fingernails look awful. I've been dyeing more uh, paper this morning and I used some coffee and uh, tea today and it has stained my hands up big time. I don't use gloves. I don't like using gloves. Plus, I'm trying to not buy gloves because I know all the nurses and people who really need them need them worse than I do. I can always wash this off my hands. It'll come off eventually. All right, there we go. We've got four pockets. No, we've got five pockets, I mean. Neat. Isn't that neat? So five pockets right there. And we can decorate these up and make them look even more, um, and make them look even better than they do now. I am going to ink just a little bit on the tops of these. I should have done that before I actually glued them down, and I didn't. So that's not something you have to do. To me, it just kind of separates them, but um, what's up to you? All right, we're going to leave those alone, and then I want to do a little side tuck over here. And I want to do a side tuck because this little booklet, I want to tuck it in on the side instead of putting it down in a uh, pocket. So we're just going to do a side tuck for that, that little booklet. So the first thing that I need to do is round these corners, I think. I'm going to put my side tuck straight down. I'm not going to make it like a pocket because I think... We're not, I don't think we'll have any problem tucking that little booklet in there. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to loosen it up just a little bit to make it where it's not so flat and not so tight. So I'm putting a little bit of glue around the edge. Just around the edge part. Okay. Then we want to put it down, and I'm going to put it right up to the edge of my paper. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, before I press this down well, I'm just going to kind of push up on each end. All right, let me get it back in frame. I'm pushing up here and here, just toward each other. I'm just pushing my fingers, and see that gives a little bit of a opening right there that makes it a little bit looser now it does you know it does bring your paper in a little bit on the edges but that doesn't bother me that's not a biggie I just want my notes and things to be able to slide in there I want this pocket to be a little bit loose I don't want it to be too tight so that looks pretty good right there Now before we, let's see, I'm going to easily, I'm not going to put it all the way in because I know my glue's not dry, but see that's going to tuck in right there with no problem. If I had glued it flat down and pressed it out, it would have been so tight I'd have had problems getting this up in there. Okay, now what do we need? We need a pocket or something on this side, maybe a side tuck, pocket, belly band, um, to put our other little notebook in. Put this one in. And what am I thinking? What am I thinking? You know what? I'm thinking a belly band and then we'll take this back and just slide it down in the belly band like that. So I'm thinking a cross belly band might work. So we probably need a belly band about right there. Alright, so let's see what size belly band we need. 
we want to cut one that is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it let me see now I'm gonna cut it at seven and then I'm just gonna cut it the width of my ruler here which is an inch and a half and I think I'll just use this paper because it is almost the size already and I think I'm just gonna leave it what size that it, it is see if I've got it cut straight yep all right, so we are going to cut that down to seven. I'm not worried that it's going that way. That didn't bother me. Okay, now this is going to be a hidden belly band, so we're not going to do any decorating on it or anything. All we're going to do is put a little bit of glue on either end. And we'll put it right there where my mark was. Let's see if that's pretty well straight. I got three and an eighth, and three and an eighth. Okay. All right. Then the back of this little book, and it, I know it's not dry yet, but I'm going to easily slide it down in there. The back of our little book will slide right there. So that's how that will go. I like that. I really like that. And I'll probably put something down through here on each side. Um, I may even put uh, some bling or, I don't know, some little brad, something. I don't know. I'm not going to put anything that's going to come through to the front. But I'm going to put something on there. And let's see. Okay. I'm going to take that back out while that dries. All right, now I think I'm going to have to stop now. This video is already pretty long, so I'm probably going to stop now. I'll come back tomorrow, and we will put our lace on the sides, do a little bit of decorating, do some decorating on the inside. Uh, I don't know. We may add something else if I find a place to put it, and then we will insert all of our little goodies into our folio. Alright guys, that is it for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell if you want to be notified when we put up new videos. And let me know if you're making this. Let me know your take on it. I want to see photos. Our uh, Scrapbooking With Me page, uh, Facebook page, is linked below. Just go over there and add your photos. You have to ask to join, of course. And then you can add all of your photos over there and just tag me on it so that you'll be entered for the May Challenge. All the information for the May Challenge is linked below. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.